Good evening, cyber friends. It's me, the man. Coming back at you from Walker's Mute. Yet another word for the day. Actually, it's a Bible study, online Bible study alert, as the title says. I just want to say, you know, I'm going to give a shout out to all the YouTube fam, the End Time Harvest Gang, all the blog talk, cyber friends in general. And if I missed anyone, to all our Heavenly Father's true. Uh, Middy man just wanted to say just a little alert, it's an amber alert, weather-wise, letting everybody know that it might become necessary for me not to broadcast tonight on the online Bible study. The weather, uh, we're looking for some pretty rough weather coming up here within the next hour or so, so I'm just letting everybody know just in case you do not see me broadcast. That is be what will be going down. The weather will be, will not permit it. And more than likely, just about every time I have a little rain here, uh, my internet service goes out. For the, you know, I got cable services and everything. And when MediaCom goes out, it goes out. Believe me. So with that being said, I just wanted to let everybody know that that is the way it is for right now. And until things have differently, that's the way it's going to be until we get a, a change of service or whatever. Whatever the case may be. So, in other words, we just wanted to say why we got you on the net, just in case that I do have to um, cancel the Bible study tonight. I want to just say, people, let us be about our Heavenly Father's business, as always. And I want to say that, uh, you know, we cannot, we cannot make anyone do anything. Only thing we can do is just pray for each other, be there for each other. And the ones that are without, those that are without and outside the body of Christ, we, we need to let our light shine and maybe they will see the Jesus in us and want to know what can they do to get the Jesus in them. That is basically all we can do. wanted to say also that uh, we need to be, you know, when I, I, I tried to do a video earlier today and I, for some reason it would not go through. I recorded it and it did not go through. I didn't have a bit of audio on it. So. I, c I count that up to say, well, maybe it just wasn't God will for me to do that video at that time. And so, therefore, that I think that I will go in that area, arena, and I'm going to try to go back into that arena. If I can get to Bible study tonight, that's what I'll do. But nevertheless, it's what the Spirit says. That's what we will all automatically do. So, with that being said, I'm going to leave y'all with this thought. God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life for the Lord did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world might be saved through him so in other words this is many man mission this should be your mission is to just let your light shine in other words not to be a judge no uh -uh. but nevertheless to walk day by day take up the cross Follow Christ. People, we fall down. There's nothing wrong with falling down. As long as you're in this body, you're going to fall. If we could do it, Christ would have never died. But because of the fact that something had the blood had to be shed that was stainless from sin, that was, it didn't have any sin, Jesus had to die. So therefore, therefore, if we pick up our cross on a day-by-day -day basis and walk with him, you're going to have opposition, people. I wish I could tell you that you were not going to have, you are not going to have the opposition. You're going to be talked about. You're going to be treated badly. You, people are going to say you don't know what you're talking about. People are going to say that you are self-righteous. They're going to call you everything. They're going to say that you're a hypocrite. They're going to call you that. They're going to call you everything. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Just don't let it be true. Just don't let it be true. In other words, just forget up the call. See, first of all, people have been talking this in creation. You ain't going to never stop a person running their mouth. But you just don't let that be true of what they say about you. In other words, they call me the man a liar, but me the man don't have to be one. You can call me the man a whole mom, but me the man don't have to be one. But now, if you're going to get upset every time somebody say something negative against you, you're going to be upset a lot. You're never going to have no, no joy because regardless of what, People are not going to always speak well of you. Rather will people do that anyway. Because as I told y'all in, in video past, past and gone, days gone by. People rarely give people honor anyway. 
they don't want to give you your kudos. I mean, matter of fact, they would. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna say this here, and then I'm gonna cut this video off. I had a choir director, uh, Sister Garrett, and uh, one of I'm a great, good choir director I had. I've got some good choir directors now, but I'm talking about the past. Um, and we used to talk about how people would be, you know, we used to go to these things. A lot of people, like I know JT, they call them musicals. We call them choir anniversaries around this area. And we used to go to quite a few of those. And, uh, and you know, you don't be necessarily talking about people, in other words, but I'm just one that's honest. And, you know, like, 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 like JT had said, told me one time about the old lady that told the woman, said, honey, the Lord ain't going to get mad if you don't sing. In other words, God didn't call everybody to sing and everybody to do this. You know, everybody got different, various gifts. But what I am saying is, me and, me and our sister Garrett, we used to say how the people can, you one choir can get up and sing their heart out. In tune, good harmony. And some people, they sit there with their arm fold like this. Like this. Don't open their mouth. Somebody get up there, a choir get up there, just as ragged as a, a broke down Rocco plane, singing all out of tune, out of key, and they just be up on the floor and they just clapping and he hard and job. Why? Because who they are, who they supposed to be. That's the way most of us, we got respect. In other words, it's all right if I do it. It's different when you do it. Nah, not with God. God no respect. If he don't like you doing it, he's not going to like me, the man doing it. God rule covers all. In other words, they, they, they like the law of gravity. It works for everybody. If you don't believe it, go on top of your house and step outside. Of it. See, don't you go to the grind just as fast as I do. With that being said, this middleman, so whatever you get, get into. If God is not in it. Best you come out of it. This middleman, hopefully we'll see you at 11 p.m. tonight in the online Bible study. Peace and goodbye.